friends. I hope you came ready today because this video is a really busy one. We are going to look at the Innersense Organic Beauty Line products for the product review and the curl cream battle. The reason we brought yoga out today is because the Innersense brand really focuses on making sure that you feel centered and calm as you are applying their products. Not only does the smell make you feel calmer, but even the directions, if I read the leave-in conditioner, it says, after gently towel blotting your hair, take a deep breath and become centered. Even beyond their calming directions and their unique names, the brand stands apart by providing all products that contain only natural and organic ingredients. So when I purchased the products, I was really curious to see if they could give me that same hold definition and moisture that I'm used to getting from products that don't contain all natural ingredients. But since they rank zero on Think Dirty, meaning they have no harmful chemicals in them and they had great reviews, I decided to give them a try. And as you can see, this is day three hair. We have been through yoga practices, thunderstorms, daily routines, and my hair has definitely held up. But let's see how each product holds up throughout the entire review and which curl cream comes out on top. First up is the hydrating hair mask. This hair mask is meant to repair and restore dry, coarse, and damaged hair and delivers hydration and shine. Now, as I was putting this product in my hair, it did feel a little bit more lightweight when I initially started to apply it, but that does not mean it wasn't strong. It instantly provided me more moisture in my hair and the tangles just seemed to instantly disappear. I was amazed by how effective this product actually was. And it has some pretty impressive key ingredients. We have shea butter to provide intense moisture, flaxseed for restorative strength and elasticity, tamanu, which strengthens and protects hair, and then of course we have coconut oil to provide even more moisture. The directions recommend that you should keep the product in for five to 10 minutes, but can keep it in longer if needed and I always need it, so I left it in for 30 minutes and sat under my heated deep conditioning cap. And you can already see how I can just comb through my hair with ease. There were no tangles after I took the cap off. It was amazing. It is $30 for the four ounce bottle, but a little goes a long way and these results are definitely worth it. You can even see after rinsing the product out, my hair is so shiny and looks extremely moisturized. I am loving it. The other thing I look at when I'm grading my deep conditioner is how much hair comes out as I am rinsing it and combing through and literally that's all that came out. It's amazing. On to styling. I have already parted my hair in the middle and I'm going to use one curl cream on one side, one on the other, but first, I'm going to use the Sweet Spirit Leave-In Conditioner. I will use this on my entire head. We're keeping all things constant other than the curl cream, but I have never used a spray leave-in conditioner before, so I was worried that this would be way too lightweight for my hair. I didn't really know if it could handle the frizz, but it definitely held up to the test. I sprayed about 10 sprays per section, from the root to the end and smoothed it through. And you can just see how moisturized my hair looks after applying this product. And I think I actually will go through this product a lot faster than I thought I would because I even use it as a refresh spray. It does a great job. And here you can see the difference between the hair that has it in and the hair that does not yet have it in. It is a 10 ounce bottle for $26 and it's recommended for all hair types and it has great ingredients in it like organic rice protein, rosemary oil, honey, and rooibos. I am so excited to start the curl cream battle. We are going to start with the Quiet Calm Curl Control on the left side of my head. And the product was a little lighter than I thought it would be. So it's actually a styling lotion. 
And I'm just going to use the same technique that I always use to smooth the product in, rake it through, and do some scrunching. I found the product under a bundle for thicker curls, but it is recommended for all hair types. And this 10 ounce bottle runs for $26 and it is meant to shape and define curls, eliminate frizz and smooth textured hair. Some good definition popping in, but let's see how it stands up to the inner piece whipped cream texturizer. This one is a true cream, so it is thicker than the styling lotion that I just applied. And you can see here how thick it is. So I'm only going to use a small amount per section. This is all I'm going to use on the first section. I made sure that I used the same exact techniques on both sides of my hair as I was applying each product. But while I was applying this product, I did feel as though my hair was more moisturized and I could even see more definition popping in as I applied it. And this is a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle for $22. And again, great ingredients, the honey, shea butter, orange flower oil. But this one works to protect your hair from humidity, eliminate frizz, flyaways, and adds flexible definition. You can see that there's very minimal difference from one side to the other right now. It does look like the right side with the inner piece whipped cream texturizer is a little bit more moisturized, but can't really tell a huge difference right now. Finally, I'm going to add the iCreate Lift Volumizing Foam. This is a foam that provides medium hold and I'm going to apply it to both sides of my head and I'm just smoothing it in, then I do some raking and um, I will follow it with scrunching. So this volumizing foam adds texture, volume, defines curls, shapes and sculpts wet and dry hair. It's recommended for all hair types and a six ounce bottle will cost $28. It has great ingredients like aloe vera, honey, sugar cane, and pumpkin seed oil. I have let my hair dry and I definitely can tell the volumizing foam gave me some hold. There's definitely a cast over all of my hair, but look at that definition. It looks really good. My right side definitely has more definition and the left side definitely has more volume, but I'm very happy with the results on each side right now. So I'm going to go ahead and scrunch the cast away so that we can get some bounce in my curl. And voila, look at those results. I can't believe how bouncy and flowy my curls got. Again, you can still tell on my right side, there's more definition from the root to the ends and it feels as if it has more hold and a little bit more moisture. On the left side, I still have moisturized curls. Um, there's some definition, but I think that product gave me more volume. And as you get towards the ends, you can see that there's a little bit less definition than on the other side. And the other thing that I really liked about my right side of my head is that I didn't lose much length. So it's very elongated. So I got definition and elongated curls, which that is exactly what I was looking for. And here I am on day three again. You can see which product was used on which side from the front and the back. I have to give the win to the inner piece whipped cream texturizer. Even right now, I am on day five and I have the same definition, same elongated curl and very little frizz on that side of my hair and I've only refreshed once. Where on the other side, I have a lot of frizz, there's barely any definition left and I would need to do my hair again to get those curls back. All in all, I did love all of the products that I reviewed today and I would buy each and every one of them again. It definitely comes down to preference with the curl creams. I just love definition, so 
That is why I chose the Inner Peace Whipped Cream Texturizer as my winner. If you are looking to learn how to preserve your curls, please visit the video on the screen. Thank you so much for watching my video today. See you next time.